But let's talk a little bit about the redemptive qualities in this movie. Because it's not just Teka. Mm-hmm. I mean, Maui gets redeemed. Yes. Right. Uh, we can talk a little bit about that because I know from a story perspective, Jay, you've got kind of some opinions on Maui's redemption and what that looks like. And Yeah. It's my maybe it's it like my one issue more. with the movie. Yeah. If I take issue with I anything, it's this. one. Yeah. Talk about it. I want to differentiate one thing really quick is that like I think that there is there's two types of redemption that we may be talking about here too. Uh-huh. Cuz there's one is you are redeemed because you made amends for yourself. Yes. The other is sort of more of an absolution. Mm-hmm. Someone else says I redeem you. Yeah. Right? Yes. Um and I think that we're seeing more of an I redeem you. So whether it's Moana and her um like helping Tafiti become absolved of mm-hmm. this thing that she did. I think where it, it's where that gets a little bit odd is that Maui's character is sort of absolved. He receives absolution, which I think we would all say is good and that we believe that like Christ has absolved us, yes. right? Christ's work if we accept yes. it. So, but the problem is, is that there, there's a part of this for me that I go, yeah, but he's not getting any repercussions. Like, I don't know that Maui leaves the film understanding truly the kind of pain that he's caused. Yes. Yeah. So that's the one, that's the one aspect of it that, because we see, we see that he definitely is a sympathetic character. They make us sympathetic to him because yeah, we, re- we kind of realize like, oh yeah, okay. So he's not just Mr. You're welcome, funny prideful, guy. Yes. funny guy, right? Mm-hmm. There's more to him than that. So we sort of start to forgive him because he shows us that he's vulnerable. He, he's not exactly this untouchable, tough guy. Yeah, yeah, such a tough guy. But so he doesn't necessarily grow. He doesn't necessarily grow. He he makes a growth step, but we don't see it happen because he comes back and says, "I'm going to help you." But there's no there's no indication that of like, well, what what did he experience separate from Moana that mm-hmm. he like? How did he reflect on this? Like, we don't we don't see that happen. <clears throat> yes. So I know that w- w- like the first time I saw this movie, I just felt like at the end of it that I was like, wait. He, he's just sorry? Like, that's it? Like, that, that was my response to it. And um, I think that's... Be, we, accept, so we accept it because we feel sympathetic towards him. Yes. And we but know has that he's he learned kind of, anything from yeah, it? Yeah, but has he learned anything yes. from it? That's the one thing that I go, ah. And that's really what um, Shannon McCarter in her video mm-hmm. is talking about how that story, that piece of the story plays out. Yeah. Um, and I think that she compares it to Frozen because she goes... I understand what it's like, she's saying that's about herself, about what it's like, like to be cast out as, uh, the, as the Ice Queen. Is it Elsa? Yeah. Elsa. It's Elsa? Elsa. Okay. Elsa. <laughs> <laughs> as Elsa, I don't have kids, so I just, I'm all, Elsa, Elsa is the one that's cast out, right? So she goes, I know what it's like to feel different yes. and to feel rejected. Oh, yeah. So I, I, also, I can also kind of see what it's like to come back from that. Yes. But... Um, what happened with Maui? Like, how did he? How did he make his transformation? Yeah. We watch her make her transformation, but how does Maui make his? And so, I, I think that that's a really good point from a storytelling perspective. Yes. Of it is, it is left to, when he's when he's sitting in uh, Tafiti's hand, and he's kind of like, "Sorry." It's like, and now it's all good. Yeah. But it doesn't feel like it should be all good. Yes. You know what I mean? So I think there's that component to it. Yeah. The only thing to which I would say, the only thing I would say to that. Yeah is Tafiti just before then was fully redeemed. Right. And you see the redemption of all of the islands, you see all of the darkness and the, the blackness yes. go away and yeah. the blooms and the flowers and the plants and everything and the sunlight comes out. And so it's kind of like in that instance, if Maui didn't get the chance to be redeemed also, yeah. It's kind of like wow, sucks to be him. Yeah. You know? yeah, 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 yeah <laughs> but yeah. I don't know what do you think? He's a part of it. Um the one thing that does come to mind yeah. is his ability to come back and apologize sure. and fight for her. I would say that's probably not his personality of that right. tough guy, but he's like, you know what? Darn it. <laughs> yeah. He's going to, I would say that's probably the slightest change yes. in Maui, but nothing where like, hey, what did you really learn? Right. But I would say that's the slight change that I saw in, in Maui. Yeah. Yeah, like a tough guy wouldn't come back and apologize. Yeah, that's true. Yeah.